Hey everyone, it's Amigo Aaron here, back again with another Amigos play. Tonight, we're going to be looking at Turbo Outrun, which was the second of the three Outrun games released on the Amiga. I have already had a look at the first Outrun and Outrun Europa, uh, and being a glutton for punishment, I'm coming back for more. And my fingers are crossed on this one, because I'm not familiar with it. This one was based on an arcade uh, release by Sega uh, that came out... Uh, on the AM2 hardware. It was released in 1989. And this Amiga port uh, came out a few years later in 1990. Uh, it was out, done by an outfit called Ice and was uh, released by US Gold. So right away I can see it. I like that. The guys are getting your car ready here. Um, that's interesting. You can play this one in automatic. So, Oh, that's cute. I like that. So, so far this looks much nicer, but oh... Uh, I'm seeing the cracks in the wall already. The frame rate is low. Very low. Um, man, that is... Wow, it controls a little rough, too. Um, I see the uh, big change on this version. Looks like you get... Yeah, aside from the uh, fact that you, A, can't choose your music, and you, B, uh, you uh, have the availability of a turbo... Uh, button, which I'm assuming will make your car go faster. I'm going to have to give that a shot here in a minute. Um, well, you know, gosh, this looks like a missed opportunity, doesn't it? Uh, the game is moving at a pretty good clip. Uh, you've got, um, you know, you've got things you can hit. We'll have to see if the, uh, God, not a very unceremonious debut. We're going to try that one again. So it looks like, now, that map looks like, <laughs> cute. Well, she's okay. Alright, let's give this one a shot. I do like this, but I don't like the fact that you don't have the ability to choose your music. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, but, uh, I mean, that's sort of what OutRun was known for. I mean, it was a great game, but the uh, <clears throat> the ability to change this radio stations is pretty renowned. So we're going to give it to the world here. We'll put it automatic. Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, I do like that, but the problem is uh, that's an odd, first of all, it's an odd noise when you, it sounds like your engine explodes with the turbo button. Um, the turbo, I mean, the sense of speed in this is, is not good. Gosh, what I would have given to have an OutRun game on the Lotus, uh, engine. I mean, because, and, and I will say, this looks like a pretty good engine, okay? I, I guess I made it to the first checkpoint here. Now... Do I get a brand? Okay. Well, what have we learned? Uh, you do not get to pick where you're going. So we got the—I got the law on me here. Let's get him out of here. Oh man! Typical. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Um, I do like the—I uh, do like the radical change in. Uh, gosh, I'm all over the road here. I like the radical change in the uh, look of. The uh, surroundings, that's cool, and the dirt road and everything, kind of neat, but, man, talk about not smooth, I mean, just a, putting a stick in a load screen right there, okay, okay, you do get continues, that's not too bad, okay, oh, continues off the same level, well, that's the way it goes, so we're gonna, we're gonna just, we'll play all these suckers, heck with it, I got plenty of quarters, if you know what I'm saying, um, I looked this game up a little bit earlier, and uh, it didn't receive great reviews, but they weren't horrible. Uh, Amiga Format gave it a uh, 70%. Uh, CU Amiga gave it a 65 and Zero uh, 3 gave it an 84, according to Lemon Amiga. Which, um, you know, given the year it came out, this was probably a pretty, pretty impressive. Whoops. See if that cools it down. It does. That's kind of neat. Um, You've got a sort of an a, uh, overheating element there. Okay. Pits mm, Pittsburgh. Okay. I've been to Pittsburgh. I've been to Washington. So I've been to some of these places. Now, I don't remember the Rocky Mountains being near Pittsburgh. Uh, because they're, they're not. Those are not the kind of mountains that are in Pennsylvania. Apparently it's snowing in Pittsburgh. But I will say that's something that does happen quite a bit. So they got that part right. Uh, it went from sp deserty spring to, uh, to uh, iceberg. I'm guessing the people that put this together have not actually driven across the U.S. <laughs> just, just a thought. 
But I like, again, I like the fact that there's a radical change in the uh, surrounding. Um, if you're not familiar with Ice uh, as a developer, they had uh, a few hits. You know, they did Cisco Heat and Chase HQ 2, uh, New Zealand Story, and they also did uh, Daily Thompson's Olympic Challenge, which I've always heard good things about. It's on my list to have a look at. I always kind of dug that one. Uh, I like those Olympic type games. I mean, I wanted to see it. I always, I've always heard it was excellent. I've also heard that the uh, the C64 version of this is the one to have. I've not played it, but uh, I know the music is renowned. That's something I've heard many times. God, I can't. The slow frame rate rate makes it difficult to stay, you know, on the road. That's a real, it's a real headache to even stay, you know, stay going forward. Um, man, the the original Outrun. Uh, was such a tremendous game. I like that, the little bumps. You know, the, <laughs> I want to like this. It's a sad thing. Indianapolis. Too bad they skipped West Virginia. Uh, in between Pittsburgh and Indy, they could have came right through my uh, town, Hurricane, and uh, right to the capital of West Virginia, which is Charleston. So Indianapolis, we went from ice cold to burning hot desert. Uh, I can tell you that Indianapolis is uh, up north, and every bit as cold as Pittsburgh, if not more so. Uh, so you do not see a lot of deserty mountains. Also, out that way, you don't see hardly any mountains. So <laughs> what can you do? Uh, but uh, uh, anyway, getting back to the original Outrun, what a great game. I remember the first time I saw it, and it was driving itself. Uh, if you've ever seen that model where the wheel up, oh, son of a gun. Well, keep it going. Uh, where the wheel moves itself. And it was just such an amazing thing. I mean, it was just like, I could not believe my eyes when I saw this. And then you look at the graphics and stuff. I mean, again, you've got to understand for that era, unheard of. I could not freaking believe it. I mean, you are you were talking, the graphical peak of a racing game was like, a, you know, pole positions or turbos. Uh, and both, don't get me wrong, I love both those games for different reasons. But, I mean, OutRun came along. You're just like, holy smokes, and it oozed style. And it had the music. It had everything. Uh, just a tremendous game. Um, I like how they this is they've painted the town red. This is like a, a, a Clint Eastwood film. <laughs> if you've ever seen the uh, the movie where you ha where he paints the entire town, <laughs> has him paint, paint the entire town red. So that reminds me of. Okay, we're hmm? we're going back to Indianapolis. Okay, um, I, I'm I'm confused now. I must have lost my place here. So, I guess, oh, we're starting over. That's right. I forgot. When you have to, when you do use the continue, you're going to start the level over. That's brutal. Um, so, anyway, I love the original Outrun. Now, from what I've read, uh, Turbo Outrun was actually a, uh, a PCB, a, a circuit board that was compatible with the heart, with the uh, cabinet that the original Outrun come in, came in. Um, so, it's like basically a board you could stick in your arcade machine. You could upgrade. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Get the outrun band. <laughs> oh man, this game I'm trying not to I'm trying not to fall in love here. If only it would run smooth like Lotus. I like I like I mean of course the I can get over the the uh, geolo the uh, geographical geographical botches but the uh, Oh, okay. Okay, this I didn't expect. There's a uh, I guess when you get halfway across the country, you get to buy an upgrade. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. I dig that. I like the little work as all. This is nice. Okay, now it's nighttime. Chicago. Boy, yeah, you don't want to be here at night. You better go, man. Go. <laughs> Hit the turbo button. Get out of here. Uh, actually, that's quite that's quite attractive. Um, what the... Oh, son of a gun. You know, I do miss the fact that your girlfriend doesn't fly the car. That was always funny when she would chastise you for uh, sucking. <laughs> Getting killed. That always amused me. Uh, boy, I, I, I've been there. Something tells me if I wrecked the car, that's what I would get a good tongue lashing. Uh, but, uh, like I said, I never saw this in the arcade. It's funny because <laughs> when I came across Tur uh, Outrun Europa, I had never heard of that. And uh, then I just happened to be looking through the games list, and this pops up. I'm like, what the heck? I didn't know that was here either. So I'm actually sort of pleasantly surprised. St. Louis. Okay, what in the... Okay, they've got, well, I think those are mesas. St. Louis is nowhere near the desert. 
I don't know. <laughs> I think that's St. Louis out of that. Is unbelievable. Uh, St. Louis is you know, that stuff you would see in like Arizona, <laughs> way out west. St. Louis is sort of middle America, uh, but uh, hey, they tried. Uh, maybe this is just someone's envisionment of of what the United States would look like. Oh, that's in my continue. Son of a gun. That's a pretty neat game, though. Uh, look at that. Oh heck, I guess every every third you get it. Yeah, they've got that map. Got the Oklahoma. Pretty interesting. I uh, yeah. I kind of like the uh, high score table there. It's just kind of cool. The game's got some charm. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Uh, but, uh, uh, again, it's a shame that they couldn't do something about that uh, the, the uh, frame rate on it. Uh, this thing was coded by a guy named Martin Kane. Uh, he only did this and the original OutRun. So his track record is a little rough, uh, <laughs> frankly. Uh, but, uh, um, you know... <laughs> What can, what can you do? Uh, and the uh, I love the uh, credit for the graphics on this is simply Freddy. <laughs> and Freddy did outrun as well, and also shareware game. So the guys that worked on this didn't do much. Uh, Dave Lowe, who doubt him, I know from his tons and tons of games he did, including uh, gosh, he did a lot of the Sega conversions. Uh, he did California Games two. He did Elite 2, uh, Ghostbusters 2, IK Plus. Uh, gosh, he did Star Glider 1 and 2. He did a ton of stuff. So him, at least they sprang for good music. And the guy liked the music. It's, it's very catchy. You know, very catchy tune here. I'm just jacking around here now. Um, <clears throat> you know, overall, this is probably... In fact, no, I'll say this is definitely my favorite of the three uh, games. Um... Outrun 1 is an abomination on mankind. I've mentioned this many times. It was one of the saddest and most depressing games I've ever played. It's that awesome opening screen. Uh, and Europa uh, was... I like the concept of it, the fact that you get to switch vehicles and stuff, but it just wasn't fun. And the boat levels were atrocious. Uh, and none of the levels were good. You know, And the storyline was kind of... That was a weird, they took the series in a weird way. Of course, that was the third one, so it goes Outrun, Outrun Turbo, and, and Europa. It's hard to believe that this one came, bef you know, <laughs> right around the same time or before Europa did. You know, really, it's a, quite amazing. Uh, Europa was released, and Outrun was in 89, uh, Turbo Outrun was in 90, and Outrun Europa was in 91. So, yes, this was, in fact, <laughs> the middle game. So, and I think this is a much, much better than... They outrun your Oprah. Well, I think we've seen all there is to see. An interesting game, but uh, unfortunately they sort of dropped the ball on this one. And uh, it didn't quite get it in the frame rate department. But still, uh, it's better than nothing, you know. Uh, I, I would give the C64 try a try and uh, check that one out. So, uh, until next time, this is your good buddy Amiga Aaron signing off. Everyone out there have a pleasant evening, and until next time, adios.